Okay. <laughs> this is Donald Trump's thoughts on what makes someone a 10. People ask me, what makes someone a 10? Of course, Melania is a 10. Her uptown properties alone are a 9. But her cheekbones are totally a 10. So that already makes her a 19. And her eyes, they're so visual. They're, they have a special feature, too. They're almost closed almost all the time. Which means she can't see me when I'm looking at other women. Bigly plus. Bigly. Bigly. So, if you add up all of Melania's features, she's really a hundred. Which is like a ten, but a lot bigger. Too bad the scale only goes to ten. I think I'll, uh, I'll ask Mitch McConnell if he can get that law changed. Ivanka is also a huge ten. Now, I'm not going to get into the specific scoring of her physical features. She's my daughter. And uh, that would be misappropriate. <laughs> Plus, Melania has warned me about that several times. She even caught me ogling Ivanka in the Ogle office once. It was one of the two or three times I've ever seen Melania's eyes completely open. I do not want to ever get caught doing that again. I'd rather have dinner with Rachel Maddow who, by the way, is not as smart as she says she is. I know, she went to Oxford and Stanford, and my guys at Fox News are college dropouts. But, who's president? <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> of course, my other daughter, what's her name? She's also a 10, but I'm not gonna even talk about her. She's a Democrat. And my first wife, Ivana, sad. But she's the mother of my three tremendous business associates, so I'll give her a seven. And the money I gave her to stop talking about me, uh, getting a little rough with her, that was also a ten. A ten with many zeros added on the end. Yeah. Yeah. But women aren't the only ones who should be graded numerically. I grade men that way, too. Not for their bodies, though. I may be from New York, but I'm not a homo sapien. <laughs> I, grade, I, I grade them on the qualities that are most important to a man. Namely, what can they do for me? How much will it cost me? And will I get indicted because of them? Now, Don Jr. used to be a hard and fast 10 until he tweeted out his emails about the Russians helping us in the campaign. Wrong! I should have never given him the keys to the Twitter. So I'm taking Don Jr. down from a 10 to a 9.5. Now he could regain his 10 status if he just does a couple of things. Namely, lie to Congress about my involvement in the whole thing. And Steve Bannon, who was my closest advisor, actually he still is, just now, his position is detracto. He's a classy guy. Uh, I, I don't know exactly what class. Maybe 8th grade remedial civics? He just doesn't look classy. He looks like one of my casinos after the furnishings were repossessed. He's scary, but it works. He scares people into voting against their own interests. So I'll give him a 10. And then there's little Jeff Sessions. I used to think of him as a cute little elf who worked in a theme park called Ku Klux Land. <laughs> he was a 10. But then he went and re-excused himself from the Russia thing. Now it's just like he's a, a little weasel they made a nest in the 18th hole of my favorite golf course. Get him out of here! So he's definitely a five. Sad. Sad. Oh man, all these numbers are making my brain hurt. Listen, I just, I just want to play golf, chase women, settle lawsuits, and fire people. And have everyone else that I didn't fire or sue tell me how great I am. Like any other billionaire. <laughs> but no, I had to run for president. In the end though, if I had to grade myself, I would not give Donald Trump a ten. No. Even special counsel Robert Mueller says I'm higher than that. He says he'd give me 15 to 20. 